Hi, in this video I am going to show you how you can add a feed burner email subscribe form here. Now I would like to add it right above this share bookmark link. So what I do is, uh, now let me just show you how my website feed looks like. If you are, if you are using a WordPress website, then your feed, RSS feed is generally located at this address. Now you can see that this is an XML format and uh, it's quite ugly to look at. Now the whole purpose of using FeedBurner is to make this feed much more attractive and to give much more better delivery options. So let's go to Google and type in FeedBurner. FeedBurner is a service provided by Google. Now, you can log into your FeedBurner account using any email ID of Gmail. I would suggest that you create a Gmail ID specifically for your website and then use that email ID to log in. Now once you log in into FeedBurner, you can see that uh, I have already created a feed for my website and uh, it has got about 31 su subscribers. Now to burn this feed, I will copy my feed address and paste it here and then click on next. Now it has given me a, an address here. Now I need to make this uh, address short. So I'll choose another name like emag1 for example and then I click on next and it has burned my feed and it is showing my feed address here. Let's see how my new feed looks like. You can see that it has made this feed look much more attractive. Before it was looking like this and now it looks like this. And here you also see various options to subscribe to this feed. Now. I need to get the subscription form and add it to my WordPress website. Now to do that I click on go back to my FeedBurner website, click on next. I choose click throughs and I want more and click on next. And now you see this four tabs on the top. I choose the publicize option and then click on email sub subscriptions. And then you have to activate it once. Now you can see that it is showing me my HTML code here. So I just copy this code and I go to my WordPress dashboard and under appearance I click on widgets. Now depending on your theme there could be various widgets on the right side but in most almost all theme you would have something called as a primary sidebar. So what I do is, I now use the most common text widget and I place it here on top, right above add to sharing. Now I add my feed burner code here and I put a heading for this widget. And then click on save. Now let's refresh my website again. You can see that uh, the email subscribe form has appeared here. Now in many cases uh, you can even add a feed count chiclet here which shows the number of subscribers that your email list has got. Now to do that, let's go back to FeedBurner and then first you have to save this. Once you activate the email subscription, you have to click on save. And now to get the feed count chiclet, let's click on feed count and activate the service also once. And then I copy this code and I place it on the same widget. Click on save. 
let's refresh my website and you can see the feed count chiclet appear here now you can also see that uh, twice feed burner is uh, written here by feed burner by feed burner so let's go ahead and remove this but for that I go back to my code and I just uh, delete a bit of my code I just delete uh, this much click on save I refresh my page Now you can see that uh, delivered by feed burner is only appearing once. Now let's try doing an email subscription. Let's click on an email I type in an email ID and then let's click on subscribe. You would see a pop-up would appear. Type in the capture code and then click on complete subscription request close the window and uh, now you would be getting an email sent to you by feed burner which would contain an activation activate subscription option link so you have to click on it only once you click on it you would be actually subscribed to this list now there is there is a way you can change it, the welcome email which goes out so for that you have to click on email subscriptions and click on communication preferences here you can uh, type in uh, change the header the subject and this is the email which goes so you can see the confirm link uh, short code here which feedburner actually replaces to show the confirm email link now this is a place here you can insert a link to a free gift now for example if you want someone to subscribe to your email list uh, you would be generally offering some kind of incentive for them to subscribe now this is the only place where you can send a download link automatically so you can type in your download link here and you can also change your email subject like activate your email subscription to emac and download your free gift here we save it now if you see on my website this feed address still shows up the same now what we need to do is redirect this address to show this feed now for that you have a plugin called feed burner by feedsmith i have already installed the plugin so i'm just activating it and showing you let's go to install plugins now if you would like to download this plugin at the bottom of this uh, post you would find a link click on that link and you can download this plugin Now once you install the plugin, you would get this option here called Feed Burner Feedsmith. You would need to click on activate. Once you activate it under settings, you need to look for something that this plugin has uh, implemented. Yeah, under settings you see an option called feed burner let's click on it and you need to copy this feed address and paste it here now I'm not going to change it because this contains the link to my actual feed so just assume that you replace say, you add your feed here and then click on save So once that is done, what this plugin does is redirect all your feeds to show this feed here, show the new burn feed here.
it will take a while to appear but check in about half an hour or so and you, once you refresh this page you would see this that's about it thank you for watching